Hi, thanks for having me, The Q Agenda. My name is LP. I'm a singer songwriter and I identify as um, whatever the hell you think I identify as. You know, I grew up in New York and it was like, uh, you know, it was before things got really like, you know, the bulk of like, you know, uh, New York back in the day and the country back in the day felt like it was, you know, people weren't out. That didn't happen until like the 90s. I mean, the 80s and stuff like that. It's like, you know, people didn't really come out and um, in schools and stuff like that. You know, you didn't have seven year olds deciding that they or realizing they were trans and, you know, things like this. So, um, you know, it's a different kind of way that things come into your head like you know I didn't really understand um what being gay would entail what it was going to be um I didn't even it really didn't kind of start to crystallize until like my late teens and and kind of go like even what that would feel like or look like so so it's a different way that things come into your consciousness then than now where it's like everywhere you know I mean I have friends with uh nine ten eleven year olds that are like fielding like attention from same-sex friends that and and kind of coming home and talking about it like civilly with their parents and it's mind-blowing you know when you think about it it's not, it's not to me now because it's been a minute that I feel like it's been like that so um but it's very different to come come into it from um you know when I grew up where it was not something that was openly discussed like outside of the home inside the home just wasn't discussed it was like you know you had your your gay uncle or your gay aunt you know and they they looked a certain way and <laughs> that's that was your only option <laughs> if you want to look like aunt gertrude then be my guest it's good you know and it was like no i don't want to look like that i don't want to be like that you know and not that that was bad sorry for every, all the aunt gertrudes out there but i still like i think it's so um diverse and broad now and we get to see all kinds of people um, being themselves. And um, I mean, it's beautiful. And, and I'm, I'm glad that I, you know, it's kind of like being able to say, like, I knew what like life was like before cell phones and after cell phones. I, I know what life is like before being gay was easier and more fun. And, you know, and I'm really happy the way it is now. It's simple. I just was like in love with my best friend. It was like I, I, I you know, I was um, my first songwriting partner and I and I just couldn't stop thinking about them that way, even though I wasn't even like, uh, I don't know, it wasn't necessarily that, like it wasn't what I thought. Um, it's just like I just I fell in love with someone who happened to be of the same sex, you know, which I liked that it came to me that way because it wasn't like I didn't really know that I was like looking at women in a way that was like, oh, I. You know, I think like a lot of people can say this or have this feeling that you think you want to look like somebody because you're having these like thoughts. Um, and then but my first like fall in love thing, I think would have happened whether that person was um, a, a male or a female, to be honest. But I don't know. But it was it was definitely like I couldn't stop it. You know, I, like um, it wasn't something I could um, just overlook. And so so that was really um, kind of eye opening and and heart opening and um, a really cool experience. Um, I think that, uh, you know, it kind of blew my mind, you know, and um, and I love that. I think that, um, you know, I've met people that have never even been in love. So it was, uh, you know, something that was, I'll just always remember that, that wild feeling. We're taking a quick break, but more with LP when we come back right here on The Q Agenda. I've been in countries where it's not, people don't really, you know, they're, they're not trying to like, build their gay communities you know like like outside of the gay community they're not but they're still like like my music come to my shows and and you know i feel like for for some of those people i feel like i am that that um family member that happens to be gay that like that they still love and like and can't and that softens their acceptance you know And we are back with more from LP.
the community in New York City, you know, the bars. I, I, I worked in lesbian bars. I, I, you know, I hung out and I hung out in them, hung out in um, gay bars. And just, um, I mean, I remember the first time I went to Gay Pride and I, I couldn't believe my eyes or my, like my senses, you know. I mean, I remember walking home from it and feeling like like it was the last day of camp in the summer, you know. And I, I was like, wow, this is like so cool to see uh, people, um, you know, like-minded and, and that like looked like you more or felt like you more. And it was, you know, incredible experience. But I think like community is always the main, the main thing to lean on, in my opinion, you know, because I think that people understand you and, and they're there for you. I mean, the two, you know, the two biggest battles of my life were like really in my identity, my sexual identity, my identity as a human and my career, you know, and and the fact that they had to combine somehow, you know, I mean, I was just at this um, this brunch that Adam Lambert had for a bunch of us, like a community kind of really cool thing, a bunch of like artists and, and writers. And and we and and he was talking about his story, um, you know, like coming up after uh, American Idol and putting out his first record and that the, the cover was too gay for them, you know, and they didn't want the, you know, they're like, you know, like straight men are not going to pick this up and. You know, like like stuff like that. And I think, you know, I remember being on the other side of the desk and like people like doing the thing where they pick up the rock and examine it and put it back down. And they're like kind of like, who's going to who's going to like this, you know, and and, you know, how is some dude, you know, like some like middle aged straight man going to decide what's going to like me? You know, that's hilarious. You know, it's like it's like, hey, guess what? I want to you either buddy you know it's like <laughs> no no way like if you put on an album with your stupid little suit on nobody would buy that either so like you know just don't be so fast to judge you know and I think um it was like it was a lot of that and just um I had to stay true to myself true to my music you know because that's the biggest thing I I think that like I, I've seen it you know I've seen I've been in countries where it's not people don't really you know they're, they're not trying to like build their gay communities you know like like outside of the gay community they're not but they're still like like my music come to my shows and and you know i feel like for for some of those people i feel like i am that that um family member that happens to be gay that like that they still love and like and can't and that softens their acceptance you know like and um and you know i always talk about like it's it's kind of like a glacial movement in a way like you know, just by existing, you are like furthering the cause and you can't get, I mean, you can get greedy. People get greedy and they want to like, they want it now. But I think that ultimately by just being yourself and showing the world that you're not, it's not going to go anywhere. Like, I don't know, like what, what people think there's going to be like some pill, you know, like take this, <laughs> you won't be gay. It's like, ugh, like, no, you know, it's like, it's beautiful what's happening. And, um, and it's because people you know, like myself before myself, we're just like, no, I'm not going to like live in uh, bondage for some invisible cause of like, you know, normalcy. I think, you know, like we were saying, like lean on your community and, and just know that people that like you and will love you are out there um, without a doubt. No question. I, I don't I don't even have to know you. And I can tell you that that exists for you. And it just means, though, holding fast to like what feels good what feels right what feels natural to, uh, for you to be and and just surround yourself with people not people who aren't trying to make you better or aren't like yesing you to death and telling you you know you're perfect everybody needs work we all need work i need work everybody does but i think that by you know having accepting people around you and people that can understand you they don't have to be even gay but that like want you to be your best and, and you have to find those people and and you can feel it like allow yourself to feel the energy of a person like the energetic vibe you know when you feel good and when you don't feel good so just rely on that more we want to thank lp for stopping by and for more on her you can follow her at i am lp official we will be right back with some escandala right here on the q agenda